Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. First up, three seriously hurt in bus crash on I-95 in Greenland. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR News 9, Jennifer Crompton. You never know when you're going to need a little extra help. Nissan Altima, with automatic emergency braking, standard. Now save big on the last of the 2018 Altimas. Now's the time to save with exclusive offers like this. I-95 in Greenland. There are three lanes of traffic now open, but moving slowly past this scene, you can see in the distance that small bus, that white crumpled uh, vehicle in the distance. It's been pulled out of the woods. Accident reconstruction crews have been on scene. But again, we, yes, can now confirm that though there are many injuries, none are life-threatening, and that all parents of the children on this particular bus have been notified. The 14-passenger small bus could be seen crashed into trees here on the southbound side of 95 in Greenland. State police confirming a driver, two counselors, and 10 children from the Kittery Recreation Department Summer Safe Camp were on board. They were headed, one of three vehicles headed to a water park in Candia. They were the last vehicle in that armada. One witness too upset for an interview calling the scene heart-wrenching. First responders converged on the scene, many ambulances. Again, three people taken to Portsmouth Hospital, 10 to Exeter. State police now confirming that the driver did have a medical event. It appears this vehicle was in the travel lane and simply uh, drove off the roadway, so no other vehicles were more than likely involved here. It was a very chaotic scene. The road was shut down by the troopers. Um, there were a number of children outside of the, of the vehicle. Um, I believe the driver was still inside the vehicle at the time. State police say it will be a while before they have this investigation fully done. They do say that that, that small bus with 14 seats is set up with seat belts, although they can't confirm right now whether they were being worn at the time or not. We'll be uh, keeping up with the latest on the investigation. Traffic very slow. Uh, all four lanes could be opened up here in the next few hours. For now, reporting live in Greenland, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. We will sure to be keeping you updated on this story. Cathedral O'Malley opens inquire into allegations posted online by former seminars. Cardinal Sean O'Malley is opening an inquiry into allegations involving St. John's Seminar, which were posted online over the past week by two former seminars. The editorial that spun the inquire was posted August 3rd on the Catholic website 1ether5.com, which describes itself as advocating for the restoration of Catholic tradition. In the editorial, author John writes the first person about what he says he experienced while attending a seminar allegations, including an explicit concern conversation with an older seminar about masturbation and a drinking party with other seminars. St. John's is not explicitly identified in the editorial. Another former seminar, Andrew, posted on the 
Paradise of Boston's Facebook page Tuesday with a link to Monaco's editorial. His message identified St. John's as the seminar involved. In response to posting, O'Malley announced Friday that he asked MSGR. James P. Menor, rector of St. John's, to immediately go on diplomatic leave for the fall semester. Reverend Stephen E. Slacks was appointed to serve as the interim rector. O'Malley also announced that he had appointed a team to oversee and inquire into the allegations. Police identify man who shot self after traffic stop. Woman's body found in trunk. Let's take a listen to the video from WMKW News 8 Maine. Gardner, the driver, and a body found in the trunk of his car. State police pulled over a driver after getting reports of erratic driving on 295. Investigators say as soon as the driver stopped, he got out and shot himself. Autopsies on both bodies are planned at the state medical examiner's office. No names have been released. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. I was... And now let's take a look at your U.S. stock market and see how your U.S. stock market closed for this Friday evening. And here is a look at that U.S. stock market for all of you for this evening. The Dow Joe Industrial Average closed in the red and went down. The NASDAQ closed in the red and went down. S&P 500 closed in the red and went down. CNBC IQ 100 closed in the red and went down. Gold closed in the red and went down. Oil closed in the green and went up. U.S. 10-year closed in the red and went down. The euro slash USD closed in the red and went down. And the IX closed in the green and went up. Dow drops about 200 points as financial crisis in Turkey spooks global markets. Stocks fell on Friday as geopolitical concerns pushed the Turkish lira to a record low against the dollar and rentals investors. Trump blasts kneeling NFL players stand proudly or be suspended without pay. President Trump blasted NFL players who took a knee in protest during preseason games, saying that players who fail to stand during the national anthem should be suspended without pay. The president's latest broadside against NFL players who kneel during the national anthem came in a tweet Friday morning in response to Thursday night's game. And that does it for the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Friday night, and I'll see you back here tomorrow with another newscast. And I'll have a news report coming up later on this evening. Good night, everyone. Bye.